Good afternoon, Driver Recruiting here. My name is Marissa, this is my colleague April, and today we're going to go over travel information for orientation. Do you wanna go over the rental car piece? Yeah, certainly. So, you know, congratulations, you're welcomed into Schneider, and now it's time to get to orientation. So a lot of times orientation is not nearby. It mm -hmm. may be quite a distance away. So what we wanted to do to get today is go through all the different ways that you potentially can get to orientation. Also want to make note, we are live right now. So if you guys have any questions or comments, please comment right below, and we will certainly try to answer as many questions as we can today. So first of all, to go over that rental car. So say, for example, you don't have a personal motor vehicle or you don't want to make that long of a drive mm -hmm. with your personal motor vehicle, we do put it on the responsibility of the driver to set up the rental car. We do not set that up for you. Um, and then we actually will reimburse you back up to $300 for that rental. So that $300 can include the rental price, it can be some of your fuel, it just, we cap things off at that $300 one way. Mm -hmm. So now with that being a reimbursement, what we do is we do tell you at orientation to save all those receipts, hand those in at orientation, and then you will see that typically on your first paycheck, you'll have that reimbursement on there. So that's mm -hmm. how that rental car works. Mm -hmm. Now we also do offer a Greyhound bus option as well. So if you are over 100 miles away from the training location, um, but you're not quite far enough for an airplane ticket, mm -hmm. Greyhound bus option is a great option for you. We do cover the cost of that, so no cost to you at all. Mm -hmm. um, you're able to bring one bag and one carry-on with you for the Greyhound. And then sometimes with the Greyhound as well, because we always want our drivers to get to orientation the day before if they're staying in the hotel, mm -hmm. dependent on the Greyhound schedule, sometimes you do actually have to travel even a day earlier. So for example, say you were starting orientation on a Monday and you typically would check into the hotel on the day before, that Sunday. Depending on Greyhound's availability and bus tickets, sometimes we actually have to have you travel on Saturday due to a late check-in, say Saturday night, and then you would just have Sunday to be in the hotel, relax, and then be ready to rock and roll on that Monday. Mm -hmm. So, you know, definitely when you get those itineraries emailed to you from our travel team, look those over because occasionally the date does change on when you actually have to travel. And I do see we just got our first question coming in. This is from Morgan. Does Schneider provide, oh, our screen just went black, I think, um, hotel room during <laughs> orientation? Yes, we definitely help with your hotel stay. Do you want to cover the hotel in a little more detail? Of course, yes. So we do cover the cost of your hotel. Um, also meals as far as breakfast at the hotel and then lunch at orientation. So you're just going to be responsible for your dinner um, during orientation and when you're out with a training engineer, but no cost to you for the hotel. And like April had just mentioned, you actually check in the hotel a day before orientation to ensure that you're well rested and ready for orientation the following day. Mm -hmm. And one of the other big things with the hotel stays, depending on the orientation, some rooms are single room occupancy, mm -hmm. that you do get that room to yourself during the orientation. And then depending on the orientation, sometimes it is double room occupancy. So we do get a lot of questions, well, who is my roommate gonna be? How mm -hmm. does that process work? So how we look at you know who to match you up with, we match based on sex as well as smoking preference, so smoker or non. Um, you know, sometimes we do have situations where the roommate might not be an ideal fit. Hey, my roommate snores really loud or something like that. <laughs> of course, it does happen in the off chance. Certainly just let orientation know, and we certainly can try to, you know, help rectify that situation that everybody's getting a good night's sleep. Mm -hmm. Do you want to talk about the single room occupancy as well if they want to do a single room? So you are able to have a single room occupancy hotel room if you would like. Uh, there is a Schneider discounted rate. That Schneider discounted rate does vary depending on location for the price. Um, you can ask your recruiter about that. They'll go over the price for you and uh, perfectly fine to do that single room occupancy mm -hmm. hotel room. Now if you are going to intermodal orientation, intermodal orientation is a single occupancy hotel room for that mm -hmm. training. Yep. 
And we just got another question come in from D. Do you all offer training? So we certainly do have training that is kind of an interchangeable word for our orientation. Mm -hmm. So depending on what type of position you're hiring onto and how much experience you have determines what orientation you're going to, how long the orientation will be, and also where the orientation is located. So for example, if you're going into our bulk tanker division for an inexperienced driver, it would be four and a half weeks in length mm -hmm. and it would be in Coriopolis, Pennsylvania. And I'm having a brain fart, where's the other location, Coriopolis? Houston, and Houston, Texas. so that's where our two locations are for our bulk training. So others, you know, if it's van truckload, we certainly have more options on being able to find something a little closer to you, but that's how that orientation works for training, you know, what we have here at Schneider. Mm -hmm. Looks like we got another question. Do you want to take that one? Yeah, so um, Stephen asked, do you get paid for orientation? You do get paid for orientation. Um, depending on what orientation you're you know, coming on, if you are on, for example, like a van position, dedicated position, um, it is going to be $80 per day for orientation. Um, if you are coming on, for example, intermodal experience, that is a little mm -hmm. more, it's $100 per day for orientation. Um, again, it does vary depending on the line of business and level of experience, but you are paid during orientation. And here at Schneider, we do pay every Friday too. That's another common question. Yes, we have. certainly. <laughs> Um, to go back to talking a little bit more about travel, want to cover if you want to take your personal motor vehicle to orientation. So if you are 50 miles or more away from orientation, we will reimburse you back for your fuel. Um, one of the questions that we get a lot is, okay, say you decide to drive 300 and some miles to orientation. Well, am I going to get my truck right after orientation? Is my vehicle going to be just stranded at the orientation location? How do I get back home? And it's a great question to ask. So mm -hmm. if you do take your personal motor vehicle to orientation and you are far away from orientation, we're certainly going to make sure that that personal motor vehicle gets back home before we give you that truck assignment. We're not just going to leave your vehicle stranded at orientation if it's, you know, 300 miles away we'll definitely make sure that car gets back home exactly and that is really a common question operations mm -hmm. works with drivers every week you know if you are taking that personal vehicle to ensure that that car is getting back home certainly and with personal motor vehicle to get reimbursed back for your fuel save all of your fuel receipts they mm -hmm. cannot be prepay receipts they have to be those itemized receipts handles in at orientation and then we can reimburse you back for those Typically, that would show up on your first paycheck um, of orientation if you get those handed in right away. So when you get to orientation, hand in those receipts so we can reimburse you back for those. Um, looks like we have another question here from Andy. Governors on trucks, how many miles a week? So great question. As far as your miles per week, it really depends on the account that you're on, Andy. So if it's a home daily, certainly not gonna rack up the miles as you would on a over the road mm -hmm. position. Um, so definitely would have to look a little bit more into the position that you're looking to hire onto. But a question that definitely would get answered in an application review with your recruiter, we're gonna go over that you know, in great detail so you know how many miles to expect each week. What else do we want to cover? Do you want to talk about airplane a little bit more? Yes, yeah. So we do provide airfare um, depending on how far you are from the orientation site. So if you are an inexperienced driver, we will provide airfare if you are over 600 miles mm -hmm. away. Um, and then if you are an experienced driver, we will provide airfare for 300 miles or more away. We do cover the cost of that flight. And then you will be traveling a day before orientation. Again, checking into the hotel the day before your start of orientation. Now, we do not cover oversized or overweight bags for check-in. Um, and then we do not reimburse for parking at the airport. So we always just recommend that you get transportation, you know, either get dropped off or maybe take an Uber to the mm -hmm. airport so you don't have those parking fees. Um, we also do not cover transportation to and from your home. Mm -hmm. So again, that would be something that you'd have to cover on your end. Um, but we do cover that flight. Our booking process is relatively easy. So we do go over the flight options 
on Thursdays before your orientation. We'll hold that flight for you and then we'll call you or text you on Friday and confirm that you are going to be still attending orientation. Then we'll officially book that flight in about within 20 minutes to half hour you will mm -hmm. receive that email confirmation for your hotel and your airplane ticket. Mm -hmm. Now this experience I think has been really positive Certainly. because your recruiter will go through you know airports in your area and find you the right flight for the location and the time so if you have a preference on an airport let your recruiter know um, they'll be happy to assist you with looking for flights and to talk a little bit more about flights as well so say you're flying into chicago illinois and once you land we actually help accommodate your transportation from the airport to the hotel so once that airplane ticket is booked you will get emails from your recruiter it'll have the airplane information hotel info and then at the bottom usually is where it's located that phone number typically for like a local cab company or taxi company all you would have to do is call that number and then that is how you get your transportation from the airport to the hotel same thing for Greyhound we will have that phone number on the bottom of that email and we cover that cost for you also speaking of airfare had one other thing I wanted to make sure to mention when you are flying, we do ask that the driver have some form of currency on them. If it's cash, if it's a check, if it's credit card, some of those airlines, a checked bag is included in the price. Other times that checked bag is not always included. So we do reimburse you back for one checked bag. If you're a jet set position, you are allowed two check bags, but typically mm -hmm. it's going to be one checked bag. You can pay for that up front if it's required and not included in the airfare. Save that receipt and then we can reimburse you back for that as well. But just something to be as prepared as possible when you're flying. Mm -hmm. Make sure to have some form of currency, you know, with you. Um, we have some other questions come in. You want to take this next one? Yeah. So Michael asked, um, what if I don't have my CDL yet? So. Um, not a problem if you don't have your CDL yet. Um, if you are in truck driving school right now, you're working to obtain that, we do have a tuition reimbursement program here at Schneider, so we will reimburse you up to $7,000 for the total cost of your tuition, and then that's $200 per a month that we will reimburse you for, the pro, um, for your tuition for the program. And Andy wanted to get back to the other part of your question earlier. My apologies that I didn't get back to it. Um, you were asking about the governing speeds on our trucks. So it's 63 miles per hour for our solo positions and then it's 65 miles per hour for our team. So just wanted to circle back to be able to get that uh, question answered for you. Also, we have another question that we get quite a bit is, what if I live super close to orientation mm -hmm. and I still want that hotel stay? Can I have that hotel stay? Um, the answer is yes. So mm -hmm. if you, for any reason, you know, don't want to stay at home, you want to stay in the hotel, we certainly, even if you're five minutes down the road, we will offer you that hotel stay during orientation. As far as drivers that want to commute back and forth, this is something we see a lot in the Chicago market. Mm -hmm. A lot of drivers are you know, quite close if they're doing orientation right in Chicago, live in Chicago. If you want to sleep in your own bed and commute back and forth, that is not a problem mm -hmm. with us. The only thing that we really stress is please be on time for orientation. If you are late, I have had drivers that have been sent home. They do have to do orientation all over again from the beginning because of missing valuable information because of being late. So certainly can commute, um, but just really want you to be on time for that orientation every day if you are driving back and forth. So it looks like Andy asked, um, what if I have a class sale already but only have three months of experience? So three months of experience is awesome. We would actually consider you an experienced driver mm -hmm. here at Schneider. Lots of opportunities for you. Um, you would still attend an orientation, so whether you are an experienced driver or inexperienced driver, you still go through our orientation training. Um, I would say, you know, come apply. We'd be happy to review your application. You can go to schneiderjobs.com and uh, there's a lot of opportunities out there for you.
So that kind of concludes all the travel information that we wanted to cover today. Mm -hmm. Want to thank everybody so much for tuning in. If you do have any other questions that you want to list, certainly just write them below and we can answer those for you once we are off the air. And we are encouraging everybody to apply to schneiderjobs.com and look at all the different positions that we have available in your area.